Hello, I'm Dr. Jamie Oskin, and I want to share with you a short story of the power of homeopathy. This week, um, I called a patient just to check in on them, and uh, it turns out it's a six-year-old boy uh, with nonverbal autism. And it turned out mom picked up the phone and she said, you know, I'm almost on my way to go to the emergency room because uh, my little boy has his annual bout of croup, and he's having trouble breathing, and he has a really high fever. It just came on suddenly and he has 103 fever. And in the background, I'm listening on the phone to this uh, along with this really harsh dry cough. And so I say, listen, I have 10 minutes before my next patient. Can you, can you do me a favor and let me uh, just hear his symptoms to see if on the way to the hospital you can get a homeopathic remedy that might help him get better quicker. So mom said, sure, I can do that. So uh, I took his case. Um, and, and made sure he was safe and not in immediate distress. And I prescribed a homeopathic medicine, aconite. He, was, he had a really sudden high fever, and he was having the croupy cough. And, and even though he was nonverbal, he was very afraid. He had this look of fear on his face and wanted to be next to mom. So I checked in with mom later that afternoon, and I, I called and said, I just want to check in. How's the ER visit going? You know, how's your son doing? And she said, well, as it turns out, I didn't have to go to the emergency room because his cough has lessened and he's not in, in any respiratory distress and he's not making that sound when he's breathing anymore. And oh, by the way, that's, that medicine you gave me seemed to help the fever too, which I wasn't expecting, but every time I gave him a dose of the medicine, his fever would go down for about two hours. And we treated him through the entire bout of croup and he later, uh, I prescribed Hepar Sulf as the cough became a little wet. That didn't fully um, cure the case at which point I switched to spongia, which is an important remedy in croup. And um, by the end of the day, uh, or by, by the following day after spongia, he was much better and back to school and no longer coughing. So here's a case of high fever, a really, you know, uh, potentially um, serious condition that as a trained doctor, we're able to help with safe gentle natural medicines. And we were able to save this child from an emergency room visit and um, and unnecessary drugs, and the family was super happy and grateful.